Sinistalker back here for another video. In this video right here, keeping up with the Halloween theme this month, I'm gonna be hitting up a cemetery right behind me right there, but not just any cemetery. I'm going to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I'm a, I, always, I always wanted to come here, check out some of the famous grave sites of some of these famous actors and musicians and entertainment. So it kind of goes side and side with, you know, movies and entertainment. And I figured, you know, Halloween, because it's a graveyard, things like that. Might as well check out some of that stuff and see the interesting, elaborate grave sites they have here. It's got some of the famous names that shaped entertainment. So I figured I'm gonna check that out. Be kind of interesting. I you guys might dig it. I always want to check it out. So uh, let's get down to it and check out some of the famous, interesting grave sites of Hollywood Forever Cemetery. First grave I want to check out right here, you know, Johnny Ramone from the great Ramones, you know, punk rock legends right here, you know, from back in the day, rock and roll high school forever, Pet Cemetery, the KKK took my baby away, and so, so much other more amazing songs this band did. You know, Johnny Ramone, you know, look at that, the elaborate grave site right here, the, the statue right there. And here's he died in 2004, look at that. Yeah, unbelievable, such a great band. So many classic hits. Friends of his and the family and whatnot. Look at that. Really, really, really nice right here. Here's like the other side of it right here. You know, Eddie Vedder, Rob Zombie, they all um, said some quotes right there. And pretty amazing just to be here next to this. So I, my first, like I said, it's my first time here. I always want to check this place out, so I figured you guys might enjoy this too. as a little something different right here. And off to the next little uh, grave sites I might see. But look at this place. Huge, huge place. And up here you have this huge grave right here, Douglas Fairbanks right here. Oh, I guess thing is huge. Look at this. It's like buried in there. And it's this huge, really nice, you know, all this right here. I mean, yeah, that's crazy, crazy huge. But look at that. Pretty, pretty remarkable actually. Wow. And look at this, they have like a, a cool site for Toto, you know, from Wizard of Oz. You know, famous dog, you know, a classic Wizard of Oz. That's pretty neat to have like a little marker for him right there. And someone left him a rose right there. That's pretty neat. Look at that. There's a site right here for the late, great Mickey Rooney. He passed away recently last year. And what was terrible was me and Chris, we were going to possibly meet him at a Hollywood uh, signing right there. But he died right before that. Before we, I think it was supposed to, the Hollywood signing was supposed to be like a month after this or like during this month that he passed away. Unfortunately, right before that, but it would have been really cool to meet the guy. But yeah, there he is, you know, Mickey Rooney, legendary right there. And like right here, you have this old school, kind of creepy, like hearse car. Look at that thing. That's kind of, he kind of matches the area because all the old Hollywood is buried right here. So that kind of goes side and side with this. Yep, look at that nice vintage Rolls Royce. As I'm driving around, you get a bunch of peacocks right here, kind of just tripping around the cemetery. That's kind of unusual. There's another one right here. Look at that. A couple of peacocks just kind of hanging out. And then right over here, I have Darren McGavin's gravesite. You know, the famous dad in Christmas Story and some other movies he's done. Great actor right here, Darren McGavin. And what's crazy, right next to him is right here, Myla Normi Vampira. Legendary horror hostess. She was you know, in Plan Knife Outer Space, Ed Wood movie right there. And it's like someone left some black roses in the bat right here, you know, for you know Halloween month right here. But look at that. That was a great looking marker. Look at that with the whole the webbing right there and her all dressed up. Amazing looking right here. You know, it's really neat when you come to this. When you come here, you feel like the vibes, the energy of all these legends right here. It's really like an like a different kind of vibe, but look at that. Really, really interesting. Really, really cool. I really like that. But yeah, it's a really, really big place. Look at this. It's, it's a huge, huge place right here. I'm gonna go look around some more. Yeah, so far that was great. And seeing Vampira's gravesite. It's really interesting, like looking around here and checking all these different graves out, different markers and things, all these legendary people buried here. It's like a trip. And right behind me is a really big legend right here. Legendary filmmaker Cecil B. DeMille. Born in 1881 and died in 1959, Cecil B. DeMille, you know, one of the founders of you know filmmaking in Hollywood, 
legend right there in Hollywood. I mean, it's an amazingness to be like next to him. He's you know, he's buried right there. It's just a just a trip, you know. But uh, it's an amazing sight right here just to be around this whole area. You got like a big old geese right there. And you got this huge, you know, like crypt right there. And you got this big, like, you know, pond lake they built here. It's a really nice place. Look at this. You got like all these, you know, ducks right there and like swans and things. Look at this. Pretty neat. All right, so I think that does it with visiting the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I was going to visit the grave site of uh, Rudolph Valentino, but they closed up the mausoleum, unfortunately. I wanted to go in there and check that out. But now I'm going to head off to another cemetery. It's not too far from here. There's a lot of legends in that place. Let's go check it out real quick. All right, I'm at my next cemetery, Pierce Brothers Memorial Park. This is a very famous one. And the grave I'm going to visit right now, some of you guys might know her, a few of you, as Norma Jean, but the rest of the world knows her as Marilyn Monroe. The burial site of Marilyn Monroe, right there. Check that out. It's all discolored because everyone's leaving like you know kiss prints on it and touching it and whatnot, and it's all all discolored from everyone else's here. But right there, Marilyn Monroe. How cool is that? Like a trip, you know, it's kind of being here next to Marilyn Monroe is like a weird trippy vibe. It's like crazy. And I think Hugh Hefner has his uh, plot bought right there. But it's just a trip kind of being like, when she's like right there. Marilyn Monroe. What a trip. Then that cathedral right there, that's where um, they had the service for, for Marilyn Monroe at. And Joe DiMaggio, her husband at the time, barred any friends pretty much from really seeing her. Like Frank Sinatra was barred from going in there. And a bunch of other like actors were barred from going in there. So only a few close friends and family members were able to see Marilyn Monroe laid to rest right over there where I was just at before. Walter Matthau, legendary actor from The Odd Couple with Jack Lemmon and Grumpy Old Men. Wow, look at that. This place has a lot of famous uh, actors and everything like that over here. Legendary author Ray Bradbury right there. I mean, that's just crazy. You know, right there he's buried at. Ray Bradbury, awesome, awesome author of you know, science fiction and all that, right there. As I walk around, this is a very nice cemetery. Look at this, a very nice grounds. Very small cemetery here. I think only a couple acres big, but it's very, you know, nice looking. Lots of legendary actors, authors, and people like that here at this place. And what's crazy is I saw Walter Math, and here's his buddy Jack Lemon. And like, has no date in his grave. It says Jack Lemon in, and then right there, a sense of humor the guy had even in death. Look at that, Jack Lemon. There you got Carol O'Connor in Heat of the Night, you know, great actor right there. Check that out. And then right here you have the, the legendary Rodner Dangerfield. There goes neighborhood. Pretty funny too, sense of humor, also even in death. And you know, I always liked him, and, you know, back to school, Ladybugs, Back by Midnight. You know, this is an awesome, great comedian right there, you know, Rodney Dangerfield. Like, what a trip seeing all these like legends right here. It's pretty trippy to walk around here because I'm like pretty much the only one here right now besides uh, a couple of girls over there. But other than that, it's about to close. But they close at 6 and it's right now after 6, but I'm still here to can still let you walk around. This is kind of trippy being here with all these like deceased, you know, legends around me right now. It's, just, it's a trip, you know, it's a pretty neat vibe here. Pretty interesting actually. And then right here we got Natalie Wood's grave right here. Beloved daughter, sister, wife, mother, and friend. She died in 1981. You know, she was in uh, Rebel Without a Cause. She's a big time children actress. You know, she was also in the musical West Side Story. You know, Natalie Wood right there. Crazy. I just left the cemetery, Westwood Cemetery right there. Here's the address, 1218 Westwood. Wilsh it's on Wilshire Boulevard right there. And you go up here, you go up this little uh, driveway, this little ramp up here, and it's on the right, right over there. So it was kind of tricky to get into. I had a hassle trying to find it actually because you can't really tell. It's a really small sign and we don't advertise. It's like a little nook and it's sandwiched in between all these buildings right here. That's where the cemetery is at. So if you're in this area, if you want to check it out, it's a little helpful tip of where to find it at because I looked on YouTube and how many people tell you how to get to that, this place. So I told you right now, save you a little bit of hassle. So off to the next spot. Right, my next stop right here, I'm a little bit hungry right now, so I'm going to go to this joint behind me. Pinks, you really can't tell because of light, but I'm going to hit up Pinks right now. I've been there in a good while. The original location, I haven't been there in a, like it's been like I don't know, a year and a half or something like that. But 
Actually, the line's not too big right now, which is surprising because usually the line's like about a half hour. So let's go inside and get some Pink's hot dogs. Here we go, go is Pink's right there, the classic logo. So I'm gonna go inside right here, wait in this little line. You can see the line is, um, it's actually not too big right now. So that's nice. And here it is right here. They make all the food right there, right in front of you. Actually, you get the crazy menu of all the crazy like options you can get. That are really good hot dogs and like really awesome onion rings and things like that. So some of these crazy like different hot dogs you get here. Oh, like, sorry. Like, <laughs> dog and, and uh, that one. Food. It's like craziness. All that awesome chili bacon right there. Oh man, look at that deliciousness. Well, right, my food has arrived. I get like this gut busting uh, arsenal of goodies. Look at that. Two hot dogs with chili cheese, french fries, mustard. It's like, look at that thing. It's insane. And I got onion rings on the side and some ketchup to dip my onion rings in that. What the hell? I'm going to Diet Coke for some damn reason. I don't know why I got a Diet Coke, but I got a Diet Coke. Look at this thing. It looks insane. Really, really big, like, oh my god, but it's so good it's gonna be, oh. So I'm just gonna kind of dig in this thing right now, I don't know how I'm gonna attack this, but uh, I'm gonna just pick it up and eat it like this. Let's go see. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. My fucking mess, look at it. Oh my god. Mmm, so good though. Holy crap. Freaking awesome. Really, really good. The, the, the snaps and you eat it, so good. I'm gonna try an awesome onion ring. These are so delicious right here. A little ketchup on that bad boy. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Freaking awesome. So so good. Man, so I'm gonna finish this up right now. And hopefully I don't die of a heart attack after I'm done eating this. But I think I'll be okay. There's a better look of it inside. Look at that. I get the two hot dogs with the chili. Oh my god, man. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna finish this whole thing. This is like pretty much like, I think there were like 12 inch hot dogs I'm chowing down on. Oh my god, but look at that. Alright, so I did finish the food. Oh, super damn full. Stuffed as a muff, as I always say. It's kind of hot in here. Look at this. I'm all kind of sweaty. It's kind of hot up in this piece. Right behind me over there, that's where they're cooking the food at. So it's just like, uh, man, off to uh, who knows where next. Well, you may recognize this garage behind me. Over at Amoeba Music, I figured you know, before I go home, might as well hit up Amoeba Music. And what's crazy is I don't have to wait in line to park. There's plenty of parking spots here, so that's really unusual. Never happened to me before. So if I can film some stuff inside, hopefully the music ain't blaring and whatnot. So uh, let's go check it out. As you walk in the garage, there's like tons and tons of old stickers of bands, and who knows how long how, and, and who knows how old some of these are. There's some like flyers of like bands and shows and stuff coming up, things like that. Then you get that thing, that's kind of cool. The skull and the eyes. I, I, I dig that. It's pretty neat looking. Let's go on inside. Man. Walking up here, the steps right here, and there's flyers and whatnot, and all this. You know, I haven't been in this place in months, so uh, let's go check it out. All right, here we go inside. This place is like it is enormous, humongous, huge. Pretty much anything you want is in this joint of CDs, records, videos. Not a whole lot of videos, but they got some stuff and a ton of DVDs. But oh man. We'll go up there right now. All the movies are up there. Final soundtracks. Look at that one. Revenge of the Ninja on vinyl. It's pretty badass. And you got the Wraith right there on vinyl. It's like something you never really see. So they get a lot of cool soundtracks on vinyl at this joint. Look at that one. That's pretty badass. Voodoo. I don't know what that's about. That looks pretty damn awesome. Rare Exotica. I kind of dig that. Here we got some of the uh, good old poster section. You get, you know, starting off with Beetlejuice. You know, Twin Peaks. That's pretty badass. And the Gremlins. Very, very cool. Oh, dude, check it out. Laser Blast. That's pretty badass. Epic right there. A poster like that? That's pretty awesome. Not bad for uh, 15 bucks. That's pretty dang cool. Uh, making my way up the steps to the movie Paradise. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we got some of the horror boxes. Good old Evil Dead anthology. I've never seen this before. Like that set. That is pretty damn wicked. It even comes like a little dagger right there. That's pretty damn awesome. I think it's some VHS tapes here, like in your horror hospital, made by Gorgon video. That's pretty neat. Pretty good movie too. I dig that cover. I think it's some of the lo-fi video releases right here, like Death Mask, Don't Go in the Woods, and things like that. That's pretty awesome. So you got like the Weird Science soundtrack right there. Pretty badass. And look at this Night of the Demons soundtrack right there. That is pretty kick-ass. Oh man, so let's look around here some more. They have all those like bitchin' posters you can get too. Like, you know, Monster Frankenstein, 
Fire 13 and all those, and I'll get them down for you. So I, I would hate to be the guy to walk up in the ladder from all the way up down there and go way up there to get that damn thing. I would kind of suck for the person getting it. All right, so I just left Amoeba Records. I did buy one thing in there, and don't hate me for it, but I did buy this. She Wants Revenge. You know, I got that. It was like uh, four bucks. It was half off, so I got it for two dollars. I got that just because that song was stuck in my head from American Horror Story, and I want to tear you apart. I used to have the CD back when I had my girlfriend about you know years ago. My ex-girlfriend, we listened to that the CD a lot and that song all the time back in the day. I couldn't find my CD for it because I haven't heard that song in years. I'm like, it was stuck in my head. So I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. What the hell, you know? For just listening the way home. But yeah, how did just get it for the hell of it? Just a little random shit right there. And the song is pretty good, a pretty catchy damn song. I, I kind of dig it. All right, but that's pretty much it for the end of this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Had a really fun time making it. Hit up those cemeteries I've never been to before. Seen all the famous graves and all the actors and whatnot. That was really interesting. And if you're up in LA and whatever, or visiting LA, definitely check that out. It's a pretty cool thing to do. Kind of neat, you know? I kind of dig it. It was, it was interesting. And hitting up, you know, pinks, getting super full, and I'm even records, which is always pretty neat. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys do, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Love, love to hear you guys think about it. And I'll catch you guys later next one. I'll see ya. And now a nice fun drive back home to San Diego. Hope no damn traffic. Uh-uh.